So let me create two tables. In the picture, the plot shared with us. Oh, I will share that. Yeah. Okay, so I have created two tables. All right. T1. So T1 has values. Oh, sorry. I inserted into T1 only both the times. I should. 52. We drop it quickly. Drop table T2. Let me drop T2 also. And let me recreate the tables one more time. Okay, so in T1, I have values 1, 1, 2, 3, 3. And in T2, I have values one, one, two, four, five. Let's see what will happen when we do a inner join. From T one. So if you see, only one and two were common in both the tables. So you get one four times, right? Why did you get four times? Because two val values here, two values here. So this one matches with it twice, and this one again twice, so four entries. And for two, one entry, one entry, so one entry, right? Here, you are clear on this part, right? Yes. So if I do a left join now, let me just query this. Left join means all the records from left table, which is T1, and matching records from T2. So matching records are 1 and 2, because 1 and 2 are there in both the tables. And the other remaining record is 3. So there are two threes. So it should be same this result plus 3, 3, null, null. Let's try that. You see? So this is the intersection part, which we got. And for three, which has no record in table two, we will get null. Now the query is select records from T2, which are not present in T1, right? So for this, what you will do, you will again do a left join because you want to see the records which are not present in T2. And you know left join will give you all the records which are matching with T2 and the extra records from T1. Sorry, T1 which are not present in T2. So when we do this and add a condition where T2 dot A is null. What do you get? You get only three and null, right? So what 
did we find out? We found out the records from T1 which are not present in T2. So one, two, three, and there is no three in T2. So this query will give you the record. This is how we use left join, right? Yeah. So if you just want to find out, same thing, find out the records from T2 which are not present in T1. In this case, you can still do a left join. Make sure, just you have to make the table two as your left table, all right? And you have to make table one as your right table. So when you do this, since table two is a left table, you have to always use the right table here. So it will be p1.a. And it should give you four and five. I think four and five are not there in table one. You got the results. So this gave you the records from table two, which are not present in table one. Right. So since I used a left join, we can do that. Alternate way is like you can do using a right join also. If you do a right join, you have to make sure table one is the right uh, left table and table two is the right table and what do you want to find out we want to find out the null records which are not there in t1 so yeah so this, clear on this this also gives you the results from t2 which are not present in t1 so you can do the same thing using left and right join just that you have to change the table order so when you use a left join you have to make table t2 as the left table when you use a right join you have to make table t2 as the right table so both these queries will give you the same results just you need to make sure whenever you use left and right join you change the order of the tables accordingly clear on how this works yes so we, we, we can use a join without parent and foreign key yeah, we can use that. Primary and foreign key are just referential integrity concepts. Those are all theoretical concepts. So ultimately column should be there, you know, like, and the value should be matching. So not necessarily the column name should be same and all. Common, Common, Common columns. Column. Data, basically data type should be same and value should be same. Names can be different. So if I rename this table column name to, you know, b.integer. So then I do like t1.a equal to t2.b. It will still work. Doesn't matter until unless both are integer columns. Okay. Data type should be same. Yeah. Right. Just give me a minute. I will get my charger and come back. It's... Yeah, sorry. So this was on left join, right, right join. Let's see what happens when we do a full auto join. You can write full join. Yeah, you can write full join. You can write full join. Doesn't matter. You see how the results are coming. You get the matching records four ones, one two. So this three is coming from your left table, which is T one, and there is no match with the right table, so values are null. And this four and five you are getting from the right table, which is T two, and since there is no match between table one, you get null and null. So this is how full auto join works. So if you see this diagram, intersection part is this till one and twos. Then this table one's part, which is not intersecting with table two. This part is this two, three values, three and nulls. And this four and five is the part of this particular table. 
two, which is not not having an intersection with table one. So you combine all these three, you get these values. So if you consider from this one till this null, till this two, this is inner join. If you consider till this null, this is left join. If you exclude these two and consider till this point, this is right join. If you consider everything, this is full outer join. Clear on how joins work?